Good evening, everyone. I hope you're well. Lovely to be this, here this evening. Let's get that screen off and get our faces on. How are you all? I hope you're well. Do say hello. Um, we are live here this evening. I'm here with Gemma. Um, so if you can see us, do say hello. Um, now then, I've got a million screens open. This evening, we're going to be talking about summer clubs and summer activities, because I know as a parent of SEND kids myself, how hard that is to sort out. But in the meantime, do say hello. Let us know where you're from. Um, if you've got any recommendations as well for summer school, summer clubs, summer activities, things you can do as a family, childcare, do pop them in the comments because you never know who's watching. It might really save somebody's skin, <laughs> particularly if it's uh, childcare. So do say hello. I'm just trying to find the comments. Aha, I can see you all now. So bear with me while uh, I meddle with technology. Hello, Marie. You've got a follower anniversary. Congratulations. Hi, Claire. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Joe Briggs. Hi, Carrie. Long time no see. Hi, Amanda. Where are you? <laughs> Did you get home okay? Long time no see. So we've been seeing a lot of people this, uh, today at our brand new community hub, <coughs> which I'll talk to you about shortly. Um, but tonight I do have Gemma. Hopefully she's going to join me in a second. Uh, there she is. Hi, Gemma. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. It's so lovely to have you here this evening. Thank and you're outside. I should have done that, Gemma. I know it's lovely. Yeah. I've got somebody who wants to say hello already. Oh. Hello. Hiya. How are you? Hi, Eddie. Oh, I'm fine. Do you know what I've made out of Legos? <laughs> you got Lego? Oh, I like that. That's amazing. And I feel a bit. Yeah. Good boy. What's her name? Lisa. <laughs> we love a visitor. We love yeah. a visitor. It's usually one of my lot. So that's great. <laughs> Gemma, it's lovely to have you all here this, this evening, the whole family. Um, <laughs> and Gemma, for those of you who don't know Gemma, um, because those local to us in Derbyshire probably do know Gemma, but for those who aren't so local, uh, Gemma is the director of Autism Spectrum, actually it's Spectrum Autism Festivals, isn't it? That's the position. Um, but Gemma, we'll talk a little bit about why she set um, up the festivals shortly, um, but it's just amazing to have you here, Gemma, because I know that you've got a lot of experience in this area. Um, and at the end of this Facebook Live, we are going to give people the opportunity to have free tickets to the festival in September. We go every year. We think it's absolutely brilliant. We cannot say enough good things about this festival. And our kids rave about it ev every year. They're like, are we going back? Are we going to be doing the climbing? Are we going to be doing... So they just... And the alpacas last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Walking. So they're all over that. My kids, we've already booked our ticket. We're there. Um, <laughs> But for tonight, we're going to be talking about summer holidays and send children, because I know this is something that's really important to you personally, Gemma, yeah. and send mum, because um, at the end of the day, finding somewhere that, that can not just accept your children, but meet their needs during the holidays. And I'm not just talking about um, play dates. I'm talking about activities, clubs, childcare. It's really tough, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, teachers the teachers count down to the summer holidays. We, as SEND parents, tread yeah. that countdown. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got our own, like most, like most parents do, I imagine. Yeah. Um, but for us, it's always a little bit more testy. Yeah. Because, you know, yeah. they're, towards the end of term, they're desperate, you know, they're tired, they're overwhelmed, they're ready for a break. But the minute you go into summer holidays, routine's gone. And that is so important to a lot of our kids because actually everything starts to fall apart. I mean, during term time, we're training them to the clock, aren't we? Yeah. You've got 
you know, sensory difficulties that are routinely managed through the day with sensory breaks and things like that. And then you come to the holidays and without that routine. So it's it's, it's impossible sometimes. It's impossible to get needs met when you're running to different routines all the time. And I think, you know, when you've got more than one, that's really tricky as well, particularly when, you know, you've got a mixture of different needs in the family. Um, but in terms of finding somewhere that fits to the clock that they're used to, um, it's really hard. Well, what do you find tricky anyway, Gemma? I'm going to stop talking now. What, what do you find tricky about finding somewhere during the holidays? I mean, my two boys, obviously, both on the spectrum. And they've both got their own agendas. They have such different tastes. They have such different activities and things that things that they're good at things that they're not so good at and trying to find something in the middle is really hard um one of the hardest things we find in the summer holidays is when you're out and about our youngest can't be around people when they're eating oh. that's fun yeah. <laughs> um and also he's a really picky eater so there's only certain things he'll eat as well um so trying to find somewhere to eat um trying to find not just somewhere that's that, that this food is like where he can sit separately i mean we we love going to frankie and benny's near us um because we go we do go at quite times but there's things there that both boys will eat yeah uh, and the staff there are fantastic and edward always has his own table and it's oh. great oh so, isn't it amazing you know when people go out of their way to in fact it's not really going out of their way is it but when people take time to consider the clients yeah and the best ones i find are those that they're doing it without you having to even mention why yeah that, no. that's me and i bet you're the same that's the best yeah. thing you don't you don't have to say why you need to why you need to do something a certain way they just know yeah. and that's because that that company have been educated have been given advice the best place we ever found a bit extreme but disneyland paris oh yeah yeah oh yeah. my Great. lord they were so good um and it was brilliant because obviously we never queued for a thing we were I think, I think on one day we went on the peter pan ride eight or nine times in one day amazing, amazing. Um, of course you can take your dla letters and stuff yeah. can't you yeah yeah like for the for the parade there's a there's a disability friendly area right near the front of the parade wow. which we go in and also for the fireworks you're right at the front there's plenty of space you know they've they've got it they've got it sussed in, in Paris they really have the staff were all really friendly um we had to wait for the Dumbo ride because obviously like a lot of places um they're only allowed when you have wristbands or whatever they're only allowed one child with additional needs on at a time purely yeah. for safety ride breaks down etc etc and also because there's other people there waiting but the dumbo ride was the only one we had to kind of wait for it to go around before we could get on it and this guy stood there and drew a because it was on actually on edward's birthday it was on his sixth birthday we were there and he stood there and he drew him a picture of dumbo oh. uh, and put bon, bon anniversary on it and uh, uh, edward and all this lot and he stood there and drew it for him and gave it to him while he waited. That's amazing. You know, it's so... We've still got it. It was on the fridge for years, but we've still got it in a box somewhere. And the thing is, it costs nothing to have yeah. that level of consideration. Um, and I think, you know, that, you know, we, we, we're talking about activities and stuff that we can do as, as parents and as families. Um, but childcare, childcare is a nightmare when you've got kids with SEND because... I had a really tricky situation with a very big, if not the biggest childcare out of school, you know, holiday club provider in Derby. Um, and I screened them and said, you know, are you okay with send? And these are the difficulties. Yeah, 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 we've got, we're really experienced in all of that. That's absolutely fine. Just drop everything off and everything will be fine. And I had three of my girls there, all, you know, small in primary school, infant school. 
Um, and one of them has very significant, well, at that point, they were quite significant sensory difficulties. And she really couldn't tell when she needed to go to the loo. And so the inevitable happened. And they told my oldest daughter to clean her up. So they didn't even, they, even, they didn't even ring me. They just said, oh, you, you can be her carer for the day then. I thought, no, I'm paying you to be the carers for the day. Um, but when I actually dug a little deeper, they were all young kids. They were all like in sixth form. There's no way they would have had the experience to manage children, full stop, but certainly not children with special needs. Um, and I got my money back, put in a massive complaint. And I said, well, you, my children will never come to your school. Uh, out of school clubs ever again and I've always rec I've always said the same to every parent who's come to me and said what do you think of these people no absolutely it's not safe that's that is not safeguarding our children but that sort of thing seems to happen across the board sorry say that again I think are you muted well, I don't think no yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's children in charge of children yeah yeah and you know there's there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of the adults with the kids so i'm sure that they're meeting legal um guidelines i don't know but it just doesn't seem very right but do you have difficulty with childcare? <coughs> massively because um we really only have my my parents to rely on um because we don't live anywhere near my husband's parents um and you know we're blessed and we have loads of friends and they say if ever you need us just call on us but it's difficult to call on people. And, and and then through no fault of their own, on the times that we have called on a lot of them, they've gone, oh, sorry, I can't do that. But also, I mean, my brother um, and sister-in-law, they, they're they fantastic. Um, and they've had William a few times, the older one. And they've had Eddie for a couple of days, well, you know, over the last couple of years. But it's hard because you, when there's two, they're tricky. Um, one of them on their own is is okay, um, but we really struggle with childcare. I mean, we've, you know, we looked at we have got a, um, another babysitter um, who we've paid to come and, but he's a, a teacher, um, and he's, you know, he's actually offered um, to have the children so we can have a night away. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, again, <coughs> that, you know, we you know we need to pay him. So when you're wanting to do something it's adding extra cost what is it about? a lot of it's adding a lot of money onto what you would want to do as, an, as a night out i know and it can oh. be easily become unaffordable is it about sorry yeah one minute one minute is okay <laughs> <laughs> um so i know that you've had some really tricky times actually being out with the boys and you just generally being out with the boys trying to find activities for them in inclusive environments yeah um i mean we've all had the looks the mm. step the comments um the oh can't you, can it can he not do that noise can it can he stop making that noise uh and i go no because he can't just stop being autistic um but the worst one without a shadow of a doubt was during six weeks holidays um it would be now it would have been 2016 i think 2015 2016 so maybe six seven years ago now we're in a local play play center um and i thought to myself right i'm going to wait towards the end of the six weeks holidays so everybody will have kind of had their fill of going to these places should be a bit quieter so we went to this play went to this play area and the boys were happy, happily playing. My oldest, William, found somebody he was playing with. Uh, they were kind of just, you know, they were walking around with his arm around him, messing about. And this woman said, I, went, I took Edward to the toilet. And uh, uh, this woman came in with her child and went, hurry up, I don't, I don't want to leave such a body out with that weird kid. Oh. And I was like, hmm. Yeah, he's, he's yeah that that blonde lad with it. So I can't even remember what he was wearing, but you know that blonde lad with the Captain America T-shirt and whatever it was he got on. He's weird, and I waited for her. She came out the toilet. I went, "Excuse me, my son's not weird." I said, "He's got autism." I said, "Well, we shouldn't be in places like this." <gasps> right? I said, "And what makes you think that?" I said, "You need to educate yourself." She said, "I don't need to. My kid's not weird." 
I was like, right. And then this kid then proceeded to do something. He hurt a little girl or something. And the mum stormed out. Off she went. And they left. And then 10, 15 minutes later, this guy came in with, um, with a little girl. And, I mean, bear in mind, I'd never had any issues ever with the kids in any play centre, which is why I felt confident in doing it. Um, and then this guy came in and the boys had done absolutely nothing. And all of a sudden, he shouts at the top of the voice, who are these kids with? Turns to this bloke and says, are these your kids? He says, no, no, they're not mine. They're la- this lady is the mum. But yeah, they're my children. What's the problem? And he stood there and said, if you're effing kids ever touch my kid again I'm going to effing strangle the effing lot of you and it was up into my face and I was like what I said, he's done absolutely nothing wrong he's playing he's not done anything wrong I was like I said to people around me has he done anything like no no he's not done nothing and this guy it was like the red mist had descended he was evil he was going around hitting tables flipping tables up um Effing and blind and arrow was going to hurt me and my kids. And I mean, the staff did absolutely nothing. Oh. Other, than one, other than one girl afterwards came and offered me a cup of coffee. At the time, they did nothing. There was a guy who actually ran it. He hid in the kitchen whilst this was going off. Um, and he stormed off out and off he went. And I said, Right, who is he? At the end, I mean, I, I, to be fair, when he, when he walked out, I'd heard the phrase when you when your knees buckle, but yeah. mine did. I just hit the hit the deck, um, and I said, "Right, who is he? What's his name?" And he hadn't even signed the sheet. Now, when you go to a play centre, you always have to sign these sheets, don't you? He hadn't even signed in, and for me, it was too much of a coincidence that these yeah. two events had happened on the same day. And I, I would say now they were pretty much, you know, they were connected. They were they yeah. were related or they were partners or whatever um it's never happened before um and it's all right it's fine is it a tree top yeah Yeah. no it's not it's fine it wasn't there it might not say what the play area was (laughs) so moving on moving on yeah something amazing now anyways it doesn't matter but (laughs) but you you actually created something amazing out of this bad experience yeah yeah because after that i wouldn't go into a play center for hmm, three years three four years I wouldn't go without my husband yeah and I hated that this moron had made me feel like that that I couldn't do things with my kids um so oh, it was yeah. yeah my my husband is he is his company um peaks go which you're well aware of as well um came up with the idea of a festival purely for children and families on the autistic spectrum and 2018 was the first spectrum autism friendly festival and it was and brilliant best history <laughs> yeah. and they are amazing I think the big thing for me and I take um and I, I think that even though it's you know autism is in the title it is very much send isn't it you know anybody oh, yeah. with send can go along and the biggest thing for me is the zero judgment. Yeah. You know, you've got yeah. kids, if they're struggling a little bit, although you don't tend to see it because it's a very friendly environment. Well, the thing we was expecting at the first festival, there to be kickoffs, mm-hmm. there to be meltdowns, there to be major issues, and there's none because the kids are relaxed, the parents are relaxed, yeah. they're enjoying themselves. They're just enjoying being, being able to relax because nobody's judging you. Nope. Everybody in there is in that same situation. Everybody there understands what you're going through. And if your kid does, does have a meltdown because something isn't right, the parent next to them doesn't judge you, just gives you the look of, come on, you've got this. We've all got this. We're, we're, we're in this together. Honestly. Great. I've never seen anything quite like it, to be honest with you. It's, I get um... I, emotional every year I'm just I stand on that top field and I look around and I'm like because I could, I could go now thinking about it because it is just wonderful 
It is. I love as well, for those who haven't gone, you've got like, you've got pockets of spaces. So this is why I think it really, really works because you've got outdoor, you've got the sensory seeking areas. You've then got the sensory sensitive areas. Kids can hide away or they can explore as much as they like, but there's lots of outdoor stuff and there's indoor stuff. And then there's quiet time stuff. Like last year, Pete was reading the story. Pete and yeah. Porter were reading the, the her story that she'd written um, all yeah. about inclusivity and so there's there's pockets of different areas that I think really really meets the needs of everybody. You know, even the yeah. adults. It's it's not um it's not an exhausting day when it should be. If you know, yeah. what I mean, I mean um, and they they come expecting to be able to stay a couple of hours, yeah. and before they know it, they're there for the full six hours, yeah. and it's gone in a flash. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely amazing, and I think that you know for people who want to make something more inclusive go along and have a look because we need more of these we could do with a, a spectrum festival in every city do you know yeah. what i mean like let's create something that catches on because it's it's so needed um and yeah i've not got enough good things to say about the festival actually <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not precious if anybody wants any help organizing another one somewhere else we'll do it you know i'm i think that's the biggest thing people say oh, we, we need more we need more and to be a bit of an exclusive i'm thinking of something else for easter next year as, alongside the um september festival so mm. we'll watch, watch this space on that one it's we'll be all over it we yeah. will be all over it <laughs> and of course if parents are struggling to buy tickets i mean we're going to be giving some away at the end of this anyway but you do have you you've had companies who've sponsored tickets haven't you so that yeah. people can actually nominate themselves yeah including your lovely selves at sunshine i've done one thank you but yeah because god the cost of living for everybody it's yes. horrific um and i thought to myself God, the, the, you know there are families out there because when you're a send family you know you have a carer at home who probably gets carer's allowance you're a one wage family um and there's, there is some support out there but there's there isn't a lot financially mm -hmm. and with everything else costing so much i thought well what if we could offer some families tickets um you know free tickets yeah. and so i put a shout out to the local companies and i now have 10 family tickets like bundles of tickets uh, family ticket which is five tickets so two adults three children um i've 10 lots of those which uh we're going to give away i've been having uh, nominations come through um for them um we're closing that on friday and mm -hmm. uh, so we'll be announcing at the weekend well and i won't actually no i won't be announcing i'll be contacting those because yes. they just could be drawn out at random um because you know the heartbreaking thing some of these stories that people send over it's so hard when people are saying but you know what they're embarrassed to ask i'm like i hate to do this and i'm like please do not be embarrassed that's, that's what they're here for all done privately so you're, you're messaging me um or you're messaging me and nominating somebody i will contact you privately nobody needs to know where you've got this ticket from and nobody will know where you've got this ticket from um but yes, yeah, some of the stories are just heartbreaking. Um, that people, you know, the situations that people are in, they've lost their partners, they've lost their homes. And you think, oof, geez, I wish I could give away more, you know. I know. I know. Um, but I think the fact that you're doing it is absolutely incredible. The fact that, you know, there are businesses getting behind this sponsoring tickets is absolutely incredible. And by the way, if anybody owns a business or knows a business that can do this, do get in touch with Gemma. We'll tag her page. Hopefully George is on and he'll tag your Facebook page so people can get yeah. in touch with you. Um, because we're always up for, for um, sponsorship and things like that. You know, it, it's what helps this community run. The community feel helps the community. Um, is as well when you're when you get to spectrum once you've paid your ticket price to get in everything's included um the only things you have to pay for if you choose to are food and this stalls inside um so there's stalls that you, that you could spend your money on or refreshments but you don't even need to do that bring a picnic 
there's loads of picnic space there's indoor space outdoor space there's space in the woods yeah. but you know you can have your own teddy bears picnic in the woods if you want to um so once you bought your ticket you don't need any more money because absolutely everything is included um and you know we I, like, I don't like to take anything away from the festival i like to add to it um and last year we added in the alpacas the alpaca walking which i'm delighted to say are back this year uh, <laughs> and the we had we were supposed to have donkey rides at the festival last year but the poor lady got covid the week oh. before so she couldn't make it but she's coming this year Yay. So donkey rides and also we have a little some couple of little fairground rides attending this year oh. which is a new beat so it's, it's, it's giving people a chance to try new things because another thing i bet you've had this as well you pay for something for your kid to go on they go i don't like it i know you know great that just cost me forty thousand pounds yeah 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 you know that trampoline thing that oh. just either yeah get yeah. back on it <laughs> yeah i'll go on i'll go on can i take their ride <laughs> yeah well Gemma, do you know what's been um quite eye-opening for me over the last, I don't know, four or five weeks, we've been asking our Facebook community and our online community for recommendations for the summer. So we were hoping to see lots of different types of these sorts of things, even if it was on a smaller scale, like a little day out somewhere for our families, or maybe some send specific clubs that would be brilliant, you know, um, more inclusive clubs. Now, to everybody watching, um, I was hoping to come on tonight and share loads of amazing things with you. And we are going to hopefully inspire some change instead. But we have over 50,000 people on our Facebook page. Have a guess how many recommendations across the country we've received. May I would like, oh, 50,000. I mean, even... Oh God, if you've got 100, 500, you know, that's a, that's a tiny small percentage. But that's that'd be huge to know all that. We received 15. What? 15 recommendations across the country for sending. I can't even work out percentage math on that. Like 0.000. 000, 000, 000. Yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now, this isn't like a failure of the community that we've got here. This is a huge oh. failure on providers. Yeah. It's a huge failure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through those 15 because I'm hoping that people watching will find some benefit in these. But also, if you do have any recommendations, um, I don't know whether George is actually on the, um, on the chat. Let me just see. We love George. We do Where's love George? George. He's been busy <laughs> today because he's been. Oh, he is here. Um, George is has been up in Derby with me today, but he actually lives in London, so he's gone all the way back, and now he's jumped on the Facebook Live for me. He's fantastic. Right. Warming off so, down there. <laughs> I know. Well, <laughs> it's blistering heat at the minute, isn't it? Um, today was a little bit better, but um, really absolutely ridiculous. But what I'm going to do is before I start reading these recommendations out. I'm going to put the link in because if anybody has any recommendations, don't send them to us on Facebook because we don't have the resources to physically and manually add them to the list. Just upload them to our website where we will then publish them. So I've just put the link there in the comments. So I'm going to go through these recommendations to see if any of them are any use. So um, bear in mind, we have... I don't know whether we've reached out to these people yet, but this is what's been recommended to us. And I will read out every single part of, of um, the recommendation. So this is a club in Shropshire. So if you know any parents in Shropshire, do tag them um, because this might be useful. So it's a club that is called Proud to Be Me, B spelled B double E like Buzzy Bee, Proud To Be Me. The website is proudtobeme.co.uk. Um, and it says that it's specifically for children who are autistic with anxiety, selective mutism and social phobia. Sounds amazing. Um, it's an animal themed holiday club. 
goat walking, donkey grooming, rabbit cuddling, as well as biscuit making and some forest school. How amazing does that sound? That sounds glorious. We need some. If anybody has a tendency to love animals, can you please set something up? I have allergies, otherwise I would do it. Um, it runs every Monday and Tuesday, excluding bank holiday through the summer, um, 10 till 2 every day. Also, by the way, what a lovely little break, a bit of respite. Ages 6 to 16. Um, it's £25. I don't know whether that's £25 for the week or £25 a day. It just says £25. And this is from a parent who's tried and tested it. So recommendations don't come better than that, do they? So. <laughs> We're going to be listing all of these on our website, by the way, so you don't have to write them down. But I just think it would be very important, you know, to share them today. So the next one is an activity and or a club. So that's what we've been given. It's based in Newton Abbott in Devon. It's called Bales Farm, B-A-L-E, Bales Farm. And it's balesfarm.org. Um and the area of specialism is outdoors for send children it's a holiday club with a range of outdoor activities there's a bit of a theme here that's great various dates are available throughout the holidays is for age eight plus it costs 60 pound again i don't know what that's for whether it's for the week the day um, and again it's another one that's been highly recommended by parents so that's great the next one is in uh, London in Tottenham um, and it's called the Markfield Project. Uh, website is markfield.org.uk and the areas of specialism is special needs, autism and hearing impairment. You can pre-book, it's a summer holiday scheme from Monday to Friday I'm um, just looking at the dates. Um, I believe it's 10 till 3. And it looks like it's the 1st to the 26th of August, ages 6 to 19. And that one's coming directly from them, I think. Uh, the cost varies depending on what you want. So that sounds like another one that would be fantastic to be able to, to look out for. Um, another one we've got. Oh, there's a. Oh, OK. This is a few different things based in Sandwell and Walsall. So again, if you've got any friends or family in those areas, you've got somebody who will benefit from this, do tag them. So Sandwell and Walsall. This is the Albion Foundation. Um, we will put the link because actually the link is very lengthy. <laughs> I'll put the link up um, on our website. It's a sports club, this one, and it's a send multi-sports and football. Um, and so there's lots of, uh, it's age eight plus, um, there's variable costs. So I think that one's come in directly from the club. Now to add to that, if you're in Derby, Derby County Community Trust have fantastic um, provisions. The problem is they used to offer them in different locations and now they're all based at Mackworth, which is a bit of a trek for some people. I know it's a bit of a trek for me. It used to be on Pride Park, which was nice and central. But I think when COVID took over the centre there, there's a bit of a problem. Anyway, the, the not COVID, I meant the vaccinations. <laughs> COVID didn't wipe the centre out. Um, but Derby County Community Trust really focused on SEND. They even have a SEND department. Um, so do have a look at their website for holiday clubs as well. So it looks like it's all along the same, uh, same lines because they do multi sports and stuff. So another one that we've got is in um, Ashbourne in Derby. Oh, there we go. This is local. It's called Bailey Bears in Ashbourne. The website is baileybears.co.uk. And it's a sensory and soft play for children with SEND and their families. I never knew about that. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's a new um, one on me. Yeah, this is good. This is good for us. We're learning something. Yeah. So it says Bailey Bears is a small sensory and soft play in Ashbourne. It provides sessions during the school holidays as well as term time. The owners are extremely friendly. Um, bear with me. Friendly and accommodating to any child's needs. That's what we want. Yeah. Um, so if you want... Um, information on that do have a look at their website it's from birth various prices um, and this was from a parent um, who said it's absolutely fantastic so there we go um, another one then 
This one's in Northampton. So again, if you know anybody in Northampton, do tag them. This one sounds great. It's called Yoga Pebbles. Website is yogapebbles.co.uk. Um, and it's a yoga inclusive send trained organization for all levels of, and abilities. I must say yoga is one of the best things that my kids take part in. Um, so I highly recommend yoga. Um, so they focus on yoga and mindfulness for children, adults and their families. So it's all inclusive. And it looks like they do a variety of different things. They've got classes for four to seven, eight to 11, I think it is, and 12 upwards and then adults. Um, but generally they cater for four, having eight, four plus. Having eight different ages as well works better sometimes as well, doesn't it? Oh, yes, absolutely. It's, it seems really cheap as well, actually. Eight pound for a drop in session. Um and then £10 for adults. Uh, that has also been recommended by a parent. So that's fantastic. So the next one is in County Durham. So for anybody up north, tag your friends. Um, this is called the Sensory Place. Now, these guys have given us tickets before, so I think they're fantastic anyway. And we've had some fantastic feedback from parents um, who think that it's absolutely amazing. So it's called the Sensory Place. The website is thesensoryplace.net. It's in County Durham. They cater for all areas of SEND. Lots of different activities, including forest schools, activity packs, parties, gym sessions. I mean, that sounds incredible. Um, various different days and times during the summer holidays, age three to 18. Um, and this has come highly recommended by parents. So do check that one out. The next one we've got is in Oxfordshire. OK, the good thing is that we're having quite a widespread. <laughs> we're up and down. We've been to County Durham and we've been to Devon. Now we're somewhere in the middle. We're in Oxfordshire. Um, this is called Smelly Wellies. <laughs> I love that. Um, and uh, it is. Um, oh, hear that one, that's... It's good. It's a good one, that one. Um, <laughs> so it's got all areas of send. It's a farm. I mean, there's a theme here. Our kids love the outdoors, don't they? Um, it's available every day for all ages. Um, and it's various um, prices, depending on what you want. And that one has come from a, a parent as well. So check out Smelly Wellies. Um, incredible Kids in Bristol. So if you're in Bristol or you know anybody in Bristol, this might be one to explore. I think we do have some people watching that are nearby, actually. Um, the website is incrediblekids.org.uk. Um, and they cater for children who are autistic with PDA, ADHD and any additional needs. So, I mean, the fact that they've got PDA on there means that they they know their stuff <laughs> because yeah. that is a very, very complex presentation to be able to support. Um, it says incredible kids provide play sessions where children with additional needs have fun with a secure outdoor adventure playground and indoor activities. There's someone, something for everyone. Parents must stay on site. Um, they've got a various uh, sessions from Friday, Saturdays, and then other sessions, depending on what it is you need. Age um, 0 to 25. So that's fantastic. Um, Four pound a session. And that one, again, has been recommended by parents. So that is absolutely brilliant. Um, right, let's have a look at this one. This one is in the Brent. Oh, no, hang on a minute. I don't know what's going on here. It says it's in Hampshire, but the, but the contact details are in Brent. So I don't know, because I would have thought, I think Brent is in London. I'm pretty confident. Um, so and let me just see if this has been recommended. It's been recommended by parents. Let me have a look. So it's called the Gordon Brown Outdoor Education Centre. Uh, sounds political. Um, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, run away, run away. I know. Um, it's in Hampshire. Um, it's adapted to needs, but it is an outdoor centre. Uh, they do outdoor education, climbing walls, laser combat, cooking days, arts and crafts, science-based stuff. It does sound fantastic. They do holiday clubs, school trips, group residential and birthday parties. Um, age group, it says dependent. So you'd have to check that one out. Um, and we don't know a cost, but it has been recommended by parents. So definitely worth 
having a little look at that one as well. That one then is in Hampshire, Rotherick, Rotherwick in Hampshire. I've not been there, so I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyways, in Hampshire. The next one is in various locations, Surrey, Sussex and Dorset. So along the, it's all down the south really, isn't it? Um, but this might help people. So, okay, this is called, oh, oh, this sounds like right up your street. Um, head to head sensory theater. <gasps> That's theatrical. Oh um, yeah. So <laughs> it's for all learning disabilities and physical disabilities. It's an inclusive sensory theater. This sounds amazing. Um, so it's at, I'm going, I've got quite a lot of information here. Let me see if I can open that up. Pool in Dorset on the 25th to the 26th of July. Then it's at Grove Park School in Crowborough, Monday the 1st and Tuesday the 2nd of August. Then they've got performance times um, between 12 and 1, 11 50s. There's lots, lots of information in there. Anyway, do check that one out. So the, the website is, um, I can't quite see the website. Oh, here, there we go. Um, H2H, as in the letter to uh, the number two, H2H, sensorytheatre.com. Again, we'll have all these on, listed on our website. Um, then we've got one in, bear with me, they're not giving me the address, I don't think, on this one. Various locations. Oh, okay, there we go. High Wycombe, so Buckinghamshire. Um, it's called Kickstart Learning, and it's a SEND teaching and mentoring service. Um, they hold neurodiversity workshops, maximum four children in each workshop. That's good to know. Um, I know they've given me quite a lot of information here. Um, covering the following topics, different brains, strengths and challenges, making mistakes and accepting challenges, accepting feedback and asking for help, friends, anxiety and emotional regulation. That sounds amazing. Oh my God. That sounds amazing. Our kids get so many more opportunities like that though. You know, I appreciate that there's not, um, there's not enough of them out there, but how many kids without send are taught these things? And actually they are much weaker emotionally than our kids because our kids get taught it explicitly. It's quite, yeah. I love that. Um, there's loads of dates during the, the summer break, age seven to 10 and 11 to 14, 30 pound per workshop. And that's come from the, the company themselves, I think. So definitely check it out. Oh, there we go. I mean, I know this company is all over the country. It's the Plymouth area that has been recommended. However, my kids love the local one. Clip and Climb. Oh, we Clip. love the one in Derby. It's brilliant. Um, it, are amazing, guys. They are. They are. And they do a lot of inclusive se uh, sessions, don't they, where they have quiet hours and stuff. Yeah. And uh, even if you don't go there during the quiet times, the staff, you don't need to mention anything. They know straight yeah. away. Yeah. They're brilliant. And again, we had we went there once for a party um, and Edward wouldn't eat didn't want to eat the pizza um and the lady said well what, what does he like he said well he likes sausages you know where you can have sausages and she just did it amazing really. and that's it you know, that's that my to... that one, but it's absolutely brilliant um mm. but yeah do check out uh your local clip and climb because a lot of our sensory seeking kids they really love a climb don't they <laughs> oh god edward loves the one he, he loves the beanstalk he thinks yeah. he's jack stock. it's great and there's yeah. lots of activities you can do around it yourself, you know, if you do, you know, if you wanted to explore that, you know, the whole Jack and the Beanstalk thing, there's a lot of things you could be doing around that topic. It's yeah. brilliant. And I don't know about the others, but in the Derby one, there's also the small soft play area. So if you do have a, a little one as well, there's something for them if they don't want to climb. Absolutely. Absolutely. They do good parties as well. They're very good at parties. The next one is in the Cunham Valley, which is where I was born in <laughs> South Wales. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's somebody I know, um, but it's Cannon Valley Pals. So they, they're offering local activities and trips for children with disabilities and additional needs. That sounds lovely. Um, it's a registered charity that organises play and leisure activities for children and their families. There's lots of daily activities on offer throughout the summer holidays. I've seen a poster for this and it looks absolutely brilliant. 
um, age three to 16, um, most activities at no cost, although a small contribution is requested for some activities. I mean, that's brilliant. Yeah. So I, I've heard today of a free one in Derby. Oh, where's that? It, um, it's it's a um, it's actually a half, um, and it's been done. It's we're done in Ilkeston, um, and it's from um, Pipe Dream Productions. It's the it's actually the theatre company that William that William performs with, um, but they're doing a half week. Um, and there's going to be theatre, dancing, uh, there'll be crafts in there, um, and that's that's completely funded, so it's free. The only the only qualification is that your child has to be in receipt of free school meals, which I imagine a lot are, but I'll put the link on for that one as well, because I only heard about that one today. I got a phone call about that today. So, And the thing is, you know, there are huge benefits to creative play and mm -hmm. it, it actually serves as a therapy um you know we know that a lot of actors the, you know some of the top actors are autistic or they've got adhd there is no surprise they're seeking therapy and also like being able to put on a persona where they don't have to mask um and they don't have to they're intentionally being paid to yeah do it. it's i mean yeah First, from a personal like from a personal point of view, I love nothing better than pretending to be somebody else when I'm when I'm on stage. It's it is the best therapy. Brilliant. But That's also, brilliant. there is I think as well uh, behind a lot of you know behind the mask as well of, of a performer. There's a lot of insecurity there. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and and what could be worse for yourself than putting yourself and where you're going to be judged? How how does that help help your insecurity? You're like you're caught in a vicious circle. But yeah. I can't recommend that one enough. Yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing. Mm. And the last one that we've been uh, recommended um, is in South Wales as well. Let me just check the address. Go on, Wales. You've got a source. Know, with a creative stuff. This is another good one. You'd like this one. It's the Beacon Centre in St. Melons. Um, it's East Cardiff School of Performance Art. Um, and what they do, it's an affordable... Oh, my God, I want to go. Um, <laughs> such a well Oh, we have a I'm going, I'm coming down to Cardiff. It's an affordable singing, dancing and acting summer camp. Classes are small and the staff are qualified teachers with SEND experience, as well as industry professionals. I'm there. Uh, first to the 5th of August, uh, year three to year six, 15 pounds per person. It's not bad at all. Um, so there are some... I suppose, you know, we've said there's only 15 on there. There are only 15. We've thrown an extra couple in as well. Um, Another one, there's one that I heard of in Buxton. Um, oh. They're running every Tuesday. Um, and it's, I'll, I'll find the link. It was actually a friend of mine tagged me in it. Um, and it's like a, it's like a sheep workshop. You learn in every, every week how to do things differently with sheep. <laughs> another outdoorsy one but i'll find the link to that one as well and send that one across because that's that's also a really good one good yeah well like what you know if anybody watching has any recommendations um sarah's just said now we've got a clip and climb where when i looked at their website uh we have a clip and climb we need to go check them out so there we go so yeah, there we yeah. go we've, we've just suggested something that might just work out um incredible kids are watching us so that's fantastic good Yay. evening <laughs> um will there be a list of the suggestions yes there will steph we're going to put them on our website for you to have a look but if you have any more please do just send them over to us on on the link that i put on earlier we'll we'll absolutely um repost that We'll post it in the main part. Now, for anybody in the East Midlands, we have got some really good news for the summer. Um, and that is that we have just opened our Sunshine Community Hub. And I'm yeah. so excited. I'm so excited. We've been wanting to do this for ages. And then COVID happened. Well, now we're here and we have got a really massive space. We've got 1,200 square foot that can be used for whatever you need it to be used for. So at the moment, we have got planned for the summer, weekly cuppa and chats, so parents can come and chat to each other and chat to us and have some downtime, couple of hours out, but you can bring the kids. So there's no childcare issues, 
because your kids are going to be with you. And we've got sensory spaces. We've got teenage spaces. They can create their own spaces and just shut themselves away if they want or interact with other kids who get it. You know, because you tend to find with Sen kids, it's almost like they've got a little cheeky wink. Ah, oh, oh, they're like, like magnets, aren't they? They are. I love it. I love it. But we've got, um, I will be sharing official pictures, but for now, I will give you a little sneaky glimpse of this. Um, <coughs> but we've got a sensory tent um, and we've got very comfortable seating for parents as well. Um, so let me see what I can find here. Oh, I don't know whether you can see enough of it. Uh, there we go. You can probably see quite a bit of it there. I don't know whether you can see that. It's a really fabulous space that we can yeah. just yeah, we can just move things around. You can see one of my kids in loving life in there. She set up the sensory area. I don't know whether you can see that there. Look, we've got um, a fit chair. We've got um, oh, all sorts of stuff. Absolutely all sorts of stuff. But there's plenty of space. We've got good coffee. We've got lovely tea. We've got, got hot of... drinks. That's literally, as long as it's hot, we don't hot care. Drinks. That's <laughs> it. We've got all the hot drinks and we have a fridge full of cold drinks and we can bring in stuff as well, you know? So if the kids come in and you think, oh yeah, you know, they might like X, Y, and Z, we can bring in whatever. Um, so we'll be going to be having weekly cuppa and chats on a Thursday between one and three. We'll advertise all of this so you can all book online. Of course, there will the spaces will be limited because otherwise it's not send friendly at all. And it's going to be quite overwhelming. Um, but this is going to be your opportunity to connect with people who get it. And the kids will have opportunities to connect with kids who get it. So we will be doing that. That's the first thing. The second thing is we're going to be doing, and this is something brand new. We, there's no one else, definitely not in Derby that is doing this. We are going to be doing, I'm going to get this right now, <laughs> emotions in motion classes. So we're going to be doing gentle movement and exploring our emotions and how our body feels whilst we're doing movement. So we've got two SEN personal trainers, one for the adults, one for the children. It's going to be very gentle. It's all about movement. For the adults, we're going to be focusing on trauma and stress because, of course, that's what everybody's going through as a parent. And for the children, we're going to be talking about how do they feel as they move around? What's their heart rate saying? We're going to do regular check-ins with them with visual cues. It's so exciting. But to add to that, so we've got these oh, two so that important. Is so important. So oh my God, I'm telling you now, my both my kids are going to be there. God, <laughs> God, they're very welcome. So we've got the two PTs. We've got an, an adult one and a children's one. Both very experienced. In fact, both of them deal with both adults and children. But we're going to have one dealing with the children, one with the adults. Everybody's going to be together. It's going to be a lovely time to connect. But we also have the garden shed counselling. Who's a, it's Jackie? Jackie's incredible. She's a psychotherapist highly experienced in SEND and is also a SEND parent herself. Um, she is going to be there to make sure that the kids are feeling okay so they can have time out if they need to or she can make sure that they're helping to regulate their emotions. We're going to be talking through emotions and feelings um, and we've got one of our advocates there as well who's also going to be there on backup plus me. So there'll be plenty of us there on hand to help but again another community event where but where the kids will connect with their parents because I think quite often we send our kids to clubs for time out but actually there's ways for us to connect in a really healthy way and have a bit of a laugh as well it's going to be great you know fun what? that is that is so important to me and going back a little bit to spectrum I remember on the first spectrum I was watching this um parent and he just got the biggest smile on his face I was and I looked behind me and his son was coming down on the zip wire. And these these this father and son just locked eyes. And you could tell they were just in the moment. They were having the best time. And this little boy had never done anything like that before. And the dad was having... The dad was all kitted up. He got a hat and harness on, you know. And they, they were having the best time together. And as, as we went back to send the zip wire up they were high-fiving each other and the photographer caught it and oh, that photo is our profile picture on on for spectrum because that's what it's all about it is it is and you know i do a lot of work in the field of mental health and trauma 
and emotional dysregulation. And you tend to find it at the very core, when you peel back all the layers of what's going on with somebody who's feeling really dysregulated, right at the core is abandonment or neglect or disengagement. And it's because they've disconnected from humans or disconnected from something that's important to them, animals maybe, nature. And I think that this is a really good way to, without sounding a little bit hippie, to connect with themselves and start to identify what, it's really good for the sensory processing actually, but what's going on in their bodies, but also for parents to model that as well and stand there and go, oh, I'm feeling a bit hot after that one, or, oh, my heart's going a bit, how is your heart going? Yeah. And all of a sudden you've got this validating experience between you both. Honestly, I do it with my kids and this is why I'm recommending it because it works a treat. And oh, all of a sudden they're, they're really we're, excited about it. Yeah, we're going to be there. That sounds amazing. Good, good, good. Um, <coughs> So we've got, sorry, I've not got COVID, not that it matters because you're not in front of me. It's not like I'm sharing it, but I've got a horrible cough, which has been there for weeks. Um, so we'll have our cup and chat sessions. We've got our emotions in motion class for parents and children. Um, and also we've got some other stuff as well that we're preparing um, for the summer and beyond. But if you've got any recommendations that you think, oh, you know, Chris, or why don't you do X, Y and Z in the hub? just send them in because we're all ears we're also going to be doing some workshops for parents as well for you to come along and actually get di a different kind of workshop experience from us because you're all used to the webinars now which is fantastic but we're going to be offering something a little bit different like ehcp um, request workshops so we're going to help you write the request in the workshop so you're not gonna have to pay for advocacy you're not gonna have to pay for somebody to do it with for you we are going to be there. So you, you pay the ticket price, you sit in the room with us, we'll show you the process, and then we will help you write the request. So we've got that workshop as well coming up over the summer, as long as, uh, along with um, school refusal workshop, and hopefully a choosing a provision workshop, all very sort of timely around the summer. Um, but lots of things for you to get, get you engaged with the community as well, and, and sort of make you feel a bit more supported. Because one of the things I must say, the, it's really tricky at the best of times, but over the summer holidays with a very limited help and resources out there, it's really, really easy to let yourself go. And I think a lot of parents will probably say, I've already let myself go. I remember being there. One of the things I must encourage you to do is look after yourself, because if you are not well or you are not regulated or you are not paying enough attention to yourself, there's no way you can afford anything emotionally to support your kids. It's as simple as that. And that that time doesn't have to be going to the to a, you know, a big spa or something. It doesn't have to be luxurious like that. For me, something I work on is I'm a big fan of the polyvagal theory. I love control, trying to exercise my vagus nerve, which controls everything in your body. And so something I work on personally is a little vagal um, exercise, which I can, I'm not going to do in public, but <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing, um, but I will share information on. Um, but I like to have a, by the way, it's not filthy, that I made that sound really filthy then, didn't I? I might have to just do it now to show you that it's not weird. It's not weird. So, okay, everybody together, take a deep breath. This is the exercise to exercise and tone your vagal nerve, which will help keep you nice and regulated and calm. Try and do it several times a day. Take a nice deep breath. And then in your deepest voice, I want you to make the sound voo. Okay, so you go voo. draw it out as long as you can do that several times how lovely do you feel now do you feel nice oh oh it's like ooh. do it several times a day there is science in this guys stephen porges deb Dana, do research them this is a really good exercise that is self-care doing that several times a day don't tell me you don't have time for it if you go to the toilet do it on the toilet if you have a bath do it in the bath. It's a nice, easy exercise. I do it several times a day. Really helps with my stress levels. Keeps everything nice and in check. Um, mm. Keeps me feeling quite calm and positive when everything around me is a bit chaotic. Um, and as well, there's always somebody 
um there's somebody with yourself at sunshine there's always somebody there you know oh, reach out to the spectrum you know there's always yeah. somebody there we get it we get what you're going through if you're having a tricky day jump on to facebook and send one of the pages a message also i've mentioned about the cup and chat in derby we also do online cup and chats where honestly it's phenomenal the community there is fantastic um they happen every other wednesday so we do facebook lives one wednesday cup and chat the following wednesday so next wednesday from 8 30 on zoom just book a ticket it's free to attend through our website um, and you can be connected to other parents um, and you could throw the questions in there we might do a room this week actually on summer activities you know if you're struggling and you want some ideas of how the hell you're going to see these six weeks seven weeks through then jump onto one of those because those parents are full of amazing ideas full of incredible ideas um but i'm just going to jump on the comments now and just see if anybody is recommended anywhere else let's have a look well, there's lots of people saying they're going to try some of these. And that is brilliant. Um, incredible kids. There's lots of love for incredible kids. That's great. Um, <laughs> Sarah says, is it painted yellow outside? Is that about our sunshine uh, sunshine uh, hub? Actually, today it had to identify it because our signage hasn't gone up yet. It will pretty much be very yellow outside. Um, but I'll show you what we put outside to identify it. We put out, can you see that? A big yellow. Yeah. It's not quite as big as the one we had at Spectrum Festival. No, yeah, that was huge. That was great. That one was. I loved it. I don't know whether you can see that. Can you can you see that? There we go. Can you see it a bit now? A massive yeah. yellow balloon. Um, so it was almost yellow outside, but we will have signage up very, very soon. Um okay. So let's have a look um carrie says it's fabulous because carrie came to visit us today i know i should have come but i've i've ended up having to take my youngest one out of school so unfortunately i didn't get today but i was good brought to him. should have brought him he would have yeah. loved it he could have put put some of the sensory things to the test um, <laughs> sarah says do you have accommodation well we have chosen this place because it's got a lot of handy links it's very close to the m1 it has lots of different hotels around it if you want something luxurious we have stuff. If you want something very basic and cheap for £30 a night, there's plenty of those as well. So it's in a very, very good space. Joe says, what an amazing workshop. I think you're on about the EHCP one because that is going to be phenomenal. I cannot wait. Um, a life skills workshop for our older children and teens will be useful. We're on it, Sarah, because this is something that's really been highlighted to us. So we do have someone um, and she's pretty phenomenal. I've got a feeling it's going to have to be done online to start with. Um, but we'll keep you posted because we're literally signing the agreements between both parties. Um, Joe says, she said spa. I heard spa. Let's go. I think if you can go, girls, go and have a spa day. Um, Nat, it's all about vooing on the toilet. This, If that's the only thing you've taken from this Facebook Live tonight, go ahead and voo on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lovely, lovely feeling, honestly. Um, oh my goodness, a voo on the loo. Uh, <laughs> voo on the toilet, darling. I love it, I love it. Oh, and Joe says, when did the six week summer holiday become seven? That is so true. Why are there so many weeks in the once upon a time six week holidays? I'm just having a move because the children want to play outside for 10 minutes yeah, so before it gets too dark. So I'm just having a move. Moving. Well, almost, I reckon we're almost <laughs> wrapping up anyway, Gemma. Um, but I hope that we've given some inspiration, not only to parents, but if you know someone who does and who holds a nursery or has out of you know school clubs or a community centre that could definitely organise this, tag them in this video. Let them know we as a community are desperate for send services for our kids. There's only so much the sunshine can do. We're trying our best to try and meet a lot of needs over the summer holidays. There's only so much we can do. <coughs> if you know anywhere, make sure you're recommending them to us. Um, but let's try and see if we can create more Chris's and Gemma's, people who will go out there and make it happen. Because without us having had that experience, we wouldn't have even thought that was a thing. No, you know? that's like you, but sometimes it's almost, you know, you know, when you see normal families out doing stuff and you think, oh, sometimes I think, you know, can I do this? Can I do that? 
But if I didn't have my children the way they are, I wouldn't. I I always say to people with aut- when when they're discussing autism, just look into it a little bit because I I'm quite open in saying I if. I didn't have children with autism. I maybe wouldn't know. Well, I definitely wouldn't know anywhere near no. what I do know now. No, no, I'd no, like no. to think I knew. But the avenues it's opened, it's phenomenal. It is, it is. And I think if anybody wants to do this, speak to us, speak to either of us, both of us. We will happily create a focus group so that you get this provision right. Yeah. You know, it would be nice at Christmas or Easter for us to be saying, as a result of that Facebook Live that we had in the summer, there is now extra clubs in these areas because I think that actually this, the the um, actions that you would need to take are very, very simple, but the awareness needs to be there. We can provide you with free training. I would happily have our team provide training for free in order to create more inclusive clubs because yeah. it's it shouldn't be as difficult as it is. And I think actually summer clubs are really hard to find for all children anyway. Um, but if you have a child with SEND, you're absolutely buggered, as we can see. Unless you live in those areas and you've got kids interested in those things. Um, but it, it it's so hard to find. So guys, action plan then. Get vooing on the loo. That is first and foremost. Um, well, well, boo while you poo. Yes, voo while you poo. Um, and everybody's got bowel problems when you're a send parent because you're all so nervous and anxious. That's what we all are. Um, so you should spend a lot of time on there closing yourself away. So get a bit of vooing done on the looing whilst you're pooing. Um, also get recommending. So if you've got any clubs, send us the recommendations. We've posted the link. Um, book some of the ones that we've mentioned and let them know that you found, found them here. Um, but we must not forget do you want some free tickets to the Autism Friendly Festival? So in September, Gemma will be there setting up from about three o'clock in the morning, as usual. <laughs> and it's absolutely phenomenal. We'll be there. They'll, and the thing is, there's a lot of regulars there. So you get to know all the regulars and it's fabulous. My favourite day of the year last year, it was on my birthday wow. and it was the best birthday I've ever had. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so George has created, um, we were going to try and do it live, but we didn't think it would work out because we can't actually see all the comments all of the time. So George has created a very, very um, fantastic web page. Uh, bear with me because I've got lots of messages coming through. Um, oh, we have started send in the deng, send in the dengue, dengue. We do coffee morning and starting groups, trying desperately. Send us information, Chantelle, we'll share it. It's all about connecting people up. So George has created a web page so people can actually apply to win these free tickets. So George is going to post that link shortly, hopefully. I think he's still here, still awake, bless him. George, I won't keep you much longer, I promise. Um, and what we want you to do is just submit your information. It'll be something very simple, like your name and email address and phone number um, and how many tickets that you're after, you know, in terms of, you know, two to five or whatever. And we will then pick um, a winner at random and we will share it on the weekend for you. We'll put it on our Facebook page and we'll tag um, Gemma's page as well so that you can all find that. Hopefully, George, I think, has already tagged the page. Um, but if not, we will put that on the, the video later. So if you want to uh, be in with a chance of winning some free tickets to the Autism Friendly Festival in September, make sure you enter the competition on the link that George is about to post for us. <coughs> I think there's a yeah. bit of a delay on comments. So it's hard for me to see. But, well, this has been a fantastic <laughs> web and, uh, webinar, Facebook it's Live. wonderful, eh? It's been brilliant. Absolutely loved it. We've had a full, full tour of your house. It's brilliant. I know. <laughs> Dodging the kids. Also, I'm moving as well, so there's just stuff everywhere. Oh, it's all good. We can't see it. We can't see it. But the boys have been brilliant. They've been really good. Oh, they're running around outside now. Oh, oh there's one. You can just they've see him in the, in the car. He's, He's hiding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so, so much. And you must pop no, in the... Pop into the hub when you're ready. Bring the boys. We'll advertise those um, fitness sessions and stuff. 
and uh, you'll have to book on. But we'll hopefully see you over the summer holidays then. Yeah, brilliant. Wonderful. Well, if anybody needs us, give us a shout. Both pages, we're always active on them. Um, Questions. And I always say, don't suffer. Don't suffer in silence. You know, if you're struggling, just contact one of us. We will absolutely help you. Well, Gemma, thank you so much. I will. Thank uh, you. See you. You're always welcome. Always welcome. And um, we will see you over the summer holidays then. Yeah, definitely. Lovely. See you soon. <laughs> thank Bye. you. Bye.